Hello and welcome, I'm David Lozada. This is your 6pm wrap, a full rundown of today's top stories. In this year's Independence Day celebration in Iloilo Province, President Binigno Aquino praises the efforts of Interior Secretary Mar Rojas for leading projects in the Visayas. Alam natin kapag inatas natin pam pamunuan ng isang Mar Rojas sa isang proyekto programa, asahan mong magtatagumpay po ito. Rojas, like Aquino, belongs to the Liberal Party and is seen as the party's standard bearer in the 2016 elections. The government launches a three-part documentary on its dispute with China over the West Philippine Sea or the South China Sea. The documentary called Kalayaan or Freedom is part of the government's campaign to raise awareness on the dispute. Foreign Affairs spokesman Charles Jose says the documentary seeks to debunk China's claims but doesn't aim to agitate Beijing. Philippine Senator J.V. Ejercito declares his, quote, secret support for Senator Grace Poe, though he is a political ally of Vice President Jejo Marbinay. Ejercito says, quote, I can be depended on, though secretly. We understand each other, sister. Ejercito also apologizes on behalf of friends Toby Tianco and J.V. Bautista, who brought up residency and citizenship issues against Poe. He says they were not properly advised. <laughs> South Korea reports its 11th death from the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. A total of 126 people are diagnosed with the virus. But the health ministry says new cases fell sharply, and there are little risks of the virus spreading. The Golden State Warriors defeat the Cleveland Cavaliers in the fourth game of the NBA Finals at 103-82. to Warriors bounce back as Steph Curry and Andre Iguodala lead with 22 points each while Cavalier Center, Timofey Mozgov, scores 28. There are three more games left between the Warriors and the Cavaliers. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm David Lozada. Remember, tomorrow begins today. <laughs>